All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Team Breakthrough Duelist. I know this setup looks a little different, but actually, I managed to get a PC in the last month since I uploaded the deck profile on Zodiacs. And uh, now that I have a PC, I can I can do a lot more content on this channel uh, on Dueling Book, which is what I've been using a lot, and that's what I play the most. Because uh, I, I have physical cards, it's just there's no point in me, you know, using them because I, I don't play physical cards anymore. I don't even do remote dueling. I, I, I think that's a little weird, uh, but that's just me. <laughs> but enough of that. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good time, and I'm here to bring us an update on the channel as well as showing you guys this list that you see before you. So, uh, I will be using this specific list right here, and amongst other rogue decks, to climb to the top. And what I mean by that is, uh, I've been very close to getting to 1,000 on rank, but the only reason I don't on Dueling Book is because I refuse to play uh, meta decks. This, I've refused to play meta decks this past couple of weeks. Uh, they just get kind of boring. I've been pl I mean, I have played them. I've been playing them for like the past couple formats. I, I actually almost got to 1,000 with uh, Synchro Eldritch. But uh, I just, like I said, I got bored. Uh, that deck is really boring the more you play it. Uh, not only that, but it's truly it's really easy, easy to beat. So I figured if I'm going to be getting beat, I might as well be having fun. But I'm not getting beat with this deck because this deck is amazing. But I'll get, I'll get, I'll explain it. <laughs> so the first, uh, so the first card is three Ash. You know, just uh, the best generic hand trap. It stops like a, it stops this card, and I'll get to that in a second. And then the Dragmatica cards. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry if I butchered the word there. Uh, we played three of this one. I I'm gonna learn the names. I promise you. But I just, I, I just started playing like this archetype in this deck today, and I, and I'm starting to get into it. I, I have a couple of, re of replays I want to show you guys. I'm excited to show you guys, but yeah. So three of this one, uh, this one's really important. <laughs> it's like the the tu it tutors the entire deck, and you know we play three of whatever tutors the entire deck. Uh, all all it requires the condition that um, you know has to have an extra deck monster on field. Uh, this one is the hand trap basically. Uh, it's pretty good as long as you have like one of these on board, uh, because then it just negates anything on your opponent's turn for free, and then just one of this. Uh, I feel like this is the correct ratio, three, three, one. I actually haven't seen what other people are playing. I haven't looked at lists or anything, but this is uh, what I have right now. Uh, I feel like three, three, one is like the perfect one because these these uh, these cards right here are really good to open, and then this one's just searchable. You never really want to open it by itself. Uh, I feel so that's why I only play the one and then for the suit package I actually got a lot smaller since uh, the last time But uh, since it is not a pure build uh, you do have to cut it down because drawing too many zoo monsters can be very detrimental to the strategy So with that being said, <laughs> I play two ram ram in here uh, one rat and I'm, I will be showing you guys a combo here with uh, with this and um, with, uh, with, the, with this deck uh, so we play two rams or so one rat uh, two throw and two whip. Uh, you. I mean, I feel like that's. Loki, I'm gonna start playing this ratio all the time because the amount of times I open too many zoos, even with this ratio, is still kind of annoying. So I feel like this ratio is fine. Like no matter what build you're playing in, I mean, the only thing I kind of like to play at three maybe is like the third whip or the third bla uh uh what's it called ram ram because this one floats, so it makes your late game a lot better, and then this one just lit makes killing your opponent a lot easier so i mean it's really like whatever your preference is but right now this is pretty this is doing pretty good for me uh triple tank you which is any zoo you want it to be a uh, triple droplet which is in my opinion is one of the best cards to come out in the set i mean look at it it says like it, it's like it's like a dark it's a quick play dark ruler so long as you discard like a monster against like all the combo decks uh three night your servant uh another good ass card that came out in the set um this card tutors all these cards by sending a card from the extra deck, and in case you haven't seen here, the extra deck is uh is looking kind of good <laughs> for this type of card. Uh, oh, you know, and, and I'll get to the extra deck in a bit. But yeah, Nadir Servant, very good. Uh, you usually do it, like, this is usually the fallback play, you know what I mean? Like, uh, let's say you go Zoo plays, you go, like, Thoroughblade, Summon, Pitch, like, Whip, and then they Ogre you or whatever. Usually that's, like, the end of a play, but usually you can keep pushing, like, with this card, you can go Boom. Uh, activate like send the you can send the freaking um you can send this one and then at the end phase you special summon this one search this one and then you have a disruption play you know at the very least it's something but that's at the least at, the, at its most it's nasty i got it that's like example this card this card's nasty it gives you a lot of free advantage uh, I, i'm still playing three of avarice uh, three avarice because uh the, the only reason i wouldn't play avarice is if this card wouldn't be easy to make live, but in this deck it just always is because the Zodiacs just uh, have like the re the recursion not only to put all like a bunch of monsters in the in the graveyard uh, at the same time, but also to have the Dryden there 
as a as a con- like you know as a contingency play if the average were to get ashed you know or whatever uh same goes for uh tactics this this card right here uh this card's really really good obviously going first or second uh going f- you know if you get hand trap going first like like i said ogre is very detrimental to this deck so being able to draw two is really good or like if they hand trapped you or they did like another hand trap and maybe your hand was good enough to push through you can just like look at your opponent's hand you know information is key in this game guys upstart I don't think I have to say anything about that. Oh, sorry, it's up, sorry. Barrage, it's at one. I'll be playing three of it if I could, but I can't. And then the trap cards, one punishment. Uh, this card's oh, this pretty card's pretty nasty along with uh, this. You know, uh, this card, for those of you who don't know, uh, it sends uh, it sends a card from the X deck. Well, you target one, you know, you know, you know, the target one face of monster your opponent controls, send one monster with equal or higher attack. From your extract to graveyard, and if you do destroy that monster, and obviously most normal summons are weakened in twenty five, uh, so you're able to like pop two sometimes, or or you can just like if you like did, I guess if you didn't pop off, you can send like the app cologne and start getting like something going. You know what I mean? Uh, three imperm uh, effect negation is key. I feel uh, along with the one shot all trap and the one uh, combo. Uh, I don't know. I like combo a lot. I like being able to send this late game with rat you know like because a lot of times uh the comp like the combo you can do i'm gonna show you as a combo with rat but the same combo could be done with any two uh zodiac monsters uh so long as you can get one engraved you know what i mean uh so but it basically had to be like it's either rat by itself or a blade plus any other zoo you know what i mean but you know with triple tanky and like you basically have like s- you know six ways to open a way to do the combo but yeah that's it for the main deck 40 cards uh nothing Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, the extra deck's pretty straightforward, I feel. Three Dark Ruler for combo, three Twin for back row, a Pointer for going first, Evenly for going second, and then Judgment for going first. A lot of people don't like Judgment. Uh, some people don't like Judgment. I like Judgement. Negates anything. Pay for 4,000. Whatever. It is what it is. That's the side deck. I, like, I guess, like I said, I mean, the format's pretty defined. I don't think there's anything here worth hi- like highlighting. Um, the extra deck is where I'm having a lot of... Well, I don't know what I'm doing in the extra deck. Like I said, I have not looked at anybody's list, so I don't know... If this is correct or not, but this is like what I saw that I liked, um, as far as like the engine goes. So I played the one apple on the search, uh, construct because, uh, this guy Maximus right here sends two from the extra deck from from both players extra deck, so you kind of have to be able to like let's say, uh, if you activate Nadir Servant and by sending this, because normally you want to send that anyways, um, you you have to be able to send another two cards and this is just perfect right here. I feel. Um, I'm I'm thinking about putting Omega just to be able to resolve this later on, but uh, but you know, like like I said, just let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, so yeah, the so one Apcolon construct, you know, for the same reason. Also, you can make it, but it kind of there's no reason to make it unless you want to get the trap card back, like unless you want to like like your opponent doesn't do anything on their turn. You can like push a lot of damage and eventually get the trap card back and then make a uh, window later on. But I don't. If you do that, I feel like you're already winning way more. So there's no point. You know, there's no point in ever summoning construct. And then one of this guy, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Uh, you know, I, I, somebody. I was thinking for a second. I got excited that you could like super poly with this, but then I don't. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> if I'm being real, I don't even know what this monster is. So I'm not even gonna look into it. But yeah, all you care about is the graveyard effect. Uh, you send it to graveyard. You put it on one of these from the, from the um deck in the end phase, like a scarm. Um, but you know, you just uh, it, it's just nice to get your engine going. Uh, like I said, it makes that your servant really, really broken. And then for the zoos, you know, you gotta keep it short because you gotta play the fusion. So one bow, one shock, one dry, one hammer, two tiger. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, maybe I play more Dryden. I mean, I like one more Dryden if it was that too. But you know, it is what it is. And then for the links, just the one gravity. Uh, this is mostly there. This is only there actually to make Abra's life, because as far as I know, this is the only deck that can make Abra's life with this, and it's pretty nice. Uh, this because it's a win condition and you can make it in your deck. Uh, and a lot of times, uh, you can like use this to push through your opponent's stuff, and then use the use this stuff. Uh, like if they if they have disruption like if they, if they have an answer for this then you have this stuff to fall back on but if this resolves you're more than likely winning that game and, and i have a replay to show <laughs> that exactly why and then one phoenix uh just a, another just a generic uh, one yeah generic link two, uh pops back row uh i don't know this really could be this spot right here could be anything i feel but i, I don't know but these two i, I really want to play this this can be cuttable uh this could be an omega maybe but i, I really don't know like that situation with Nadir server where like to dump the Omega has not come up, but um, yeah, I've, I've, I'm considering it because I you know I haven't gone into a grind. But yeah, guys, this is the the deck. Uh, I will be show. Oh, actually, yeah, let me show you guys the combo. Go ahead and um, let's see. Oop. 
Oops, sorry about that. Anyways. Oh, there we go. Sorry, guys, I'll not move this. Anyways, so the combo, right? Uh, let me just show you guys here. So yeah, okay. So here the combo is, uh, like I said, it's literally it's, so it's uh, uh, so it's two and a half cards, right? And when I and then and then this card can be anything. It doesn't have to be tactics. You know what I'm saying? Um, it could be you know literally any. It could be it could be Gemini Garnet for all I care. But it doesn't matter. You just have to discard it. And, and tanky, like I said, it could be it literally. It has to. It could be. You have three tankies, you have one rat, and then you have thoroughblades along with like a bunch of other zoos. So as long as you're able to open, you know this, and then this, but then this your servant doesn't exactly have to be servant. It could be the other white, uh, the white chick. It just ends a little, the board ends up a little differently. And it, and if you guys are interested in seeing that, I can, I can show you guys. But so f for this video specifically, I'm only showing this combo. So yeah, you activate tanky, right? Um, oh, I thought I was playing for a second. You go for rat, and then rat sends ram. Um, you can send whatever here. I like Ram. I like Ram a lot because of floats. So like, if they stop my sh uh, uh, any of the shock line, shock nine plays or the throw or the tiger mortar plays, you can at least you have this on board. I feel. Anyways, that's <laughs> you summon Dryden and then you summon shock. Uh, shock bring Dryden. This is the play I've been going for lately because uh, before I used to not do it, but people aren't playing Nib in the main anymore. So there's no real reason not to make this because look. So now. Um, with just the zoo stuff, uh, I have the Dryden that can be targeted not only by, um, let's see, is it card effects in general? Yeah, yes, you see, uh, see, when this XYZ material, your opponent cannot target face up. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, so you can't, you can't even target this, right? So, yeah, now, just, that's just with the tanky. And now you activate this, uh, let's see, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, god dang it. Anyways. So yeah, you keep going. You do not hear. Send that. Um, and then I'm sorry, I misclicked there. I, I'm the king of misclicking, fellas. So now you special this. Uh, you know, you add the Maximus uh, special Maximus. So this 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 right here is a uh, very per, uh, personal preference. Uh, I usually um have leave the shock nine there because I like to have. Uh, so I only play two right. And if you don't like the idea of banishing the one, you could uh, what you could do is instead of going straight into Shock and Nine right after you do Dryden play, you could do uh, like Dryden and then um, Borbo, and then you can do Shock and Nine so that you can detach the do you, you detach the Hammer Kong uh, for the Mortar after you sp bring back the Dryden. That's something you could do if you really want to keep the Shock and Nine, but I like the Borbo because you can just steal games with it, honestly. But uh, like I said, it's up to y'all. So yeah, you summon this, you use its effects, send two, right? Send the construct and the Apcolone at that one. And then, like I said, discard the tactics because you don't need it. And that's the end board off of basically two and a half cards. Um, I don't know. Uh, I really like it. You know what I mean? Um, this is the deck I'm choosing to play. I'm choosing to play Rogue for now. Um, but if there's anything you guys think I could do better with the deck, definitely let me know. Uh, I'm looking for room for improvement here. Uh, like I said, the extra deck is not, you know, the whole deck is, the, the whole list isn't finalized. Like, definitely if, if I hear better feedback, like, better cards that I can play, I definitely will. And that's it for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you click like and subscribe. Uh, and then make sure to let us know what you guys think. This has been Hector from Team Breakthrough, signing out.